fucking hot out here. What the hell? Where am I at? Dude, look at these cages in the back. Pretty sick. Oh shit, come on. Getting all wet. Look at these things. What's up, guys? I'm over here at Kyle's house. That's Kyle right there. Hey, there, guys. That's Haley. Ryan. Go on, guys. Juliet. Juliet. <laughs> yeah, Juliet. Okay. In Jake. Julia. Juliet. Whatever. Sorry. <laughs> I'll remember. <laughs> We're here. We're going to go feed some crocs. Right, Kyle? Right. Sick. So, I'm thinking since you guys keep coming over, we keep feeding all the animals. Everyone else is full, so I thought we'd play with something a little more fun. Yeah. The Cubans and Siamese. Because I know they'll be hungry. The Cubans are always hungry, no matter how full they are. But luckily, there are a couple that are hungry, that are ready to eat. And the Siamese are uh, on the end. So we'll feed them as well because uh, with this heat now, I mean, they're definitely burning burning up so quickly with the food. Yeah, it's definitely hot out. Yeah. I noticed last time all your stuff is very well fed. Yeah, a little too well fed. And that's the thing with the winter is, you know, they don't metabolize like they do in the summer. So they're just sitting on it a lot of the time. So sometimes I don't feed them for a month. Oh dang. Just because they can't they can't di even digest it, so it's risky to feed them. Right, well when they're but. sitting in cold water, they're just very yeah. lethargic, they don't really do a whole lot. But now with this heat, I mean, they're they're burning up so quickly. Yeah. I'm excited. Wait till you see these things explode out the water. It's the coolest thing ever. How big are these guys? Oh, these are going, this is going to Gatorade. The American Gatorade. 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 Got the lounge yeah, I can imagine here. that's probably a pain in the ass, right? You gotta constantly run water through everything to yeah. keep it from evaporating. It's a blessing and a curse because it's kind of like filtering the ponds because you're always running fresh water to them. Right. Um, so they're always very clear, but you do gotta keep running, especially this time of year because it'll just dry up. So this is a pond that he just dug out yesterday. Yep, so we're picking up uh, an adult pair of Cuban Niles. Um, not really worried that it's a pair, you know, and I don't. It's not like it's for a breeding program because they're hybrid and they'll just muddy up the water mm -hmm. or muddy up the gene pools, essentially. But they are cool to have. So, that's slippery. <laughs> Cuban Niles will be in here temporarily, but by the end of the year, uh, each side here will be for a Siamese crop. So all these Cubans will be moved out to a much bigger area. Cuban Siamese, and this is the girl we moved over here. Look at you. So she, she is. Man, they get higher than me. And the thing is, with Cubans, it's so hard to see when they're gonna do it. It's not like a gator where they'll suddenly come out. See how it's just like, blah! Mm -hmm. Very explosive. Not me. like this? Come on, girl. Yeah, you go. There you go. If you want, you can just toss it a couple feet in front of her, and she'll, I'm sure she'll come out and grab it. Here you go, mama. <laughs> Taking it back to the water. Need it nice and safe. Very cool. Closures are so sick how he's got everything set up. We'll show you guys aerial shots of everything. This property is dope. And these are this is a little guy right here. He's yeah. got he's got a huge saltwater croc over there. He's got a huge gator over here. He's all sorts of crazy shit. Yeah. Quite different animal here. This will be this will be doing a huge renovation this year and then it'll be open to public. So this one's crazy. Yep, she came out. <laughs> she is absolutely explosive. Yeah. And the thing is, she's she's known to do like a double jump. So what that'll do is like she'll jump, it's a double charge, and then yeah. just keep coming. The two step. So whereas most crocs, they just lunge, and that's they it. Chill. Yep. Right. They'll usually lunge and sweep, and then once they don't get something, they'll go back in the water. Right. But these guys are so terrestrial, they'll just keep coming. It's fucking big. That's the thing is, they, 
a lot of times they're full they just are so food motivated that they're just like eh, maybe i'll try maybe i'll think about it but they're just ex so explosive So how old is this one? This one, uh, this one's probably about 25 years old. Wow. I'm gonna pull this tub out. As you can see, it lifted recently. Come here, girl. Most crocs will just go away if they're not hungry, but she's like, she's not even acting like she's hungry. She's just so curious with us. So it's right. like, humans are so different. I mean, we put one in the pool, and even after transport and whatnot, put him in there. I mean, she was eating off the bottom. They're just such a comfortable feet. They're like alligators almost. You know, where crocodiles can be so sensitive, Cubans are just so crazy, so out there. That's what we got over here. So these are two adult female Siamese crocodiles. Gotcha. Let's see what she will. I'm trying to get these explosions over here. Whoa, quicksand! Yeah, there's quite a bit of quicksand out here, isn't there? <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, these enclosures aren't the best for working in, um, just because of it. Close quarters, curious, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you're gonna be up against the fence. Yeah, you just gotta be good at climbing fences. Yeah, you're trying. Now Kyle's in the middle of building these other enclosures on his other property, which is just like state of the art craziness. Like those new enclosures that you got going are just oh, they're okay. unreal. Unreal. Way more room. Room to run, room to... Oh, man. That's the thing is I love working with these guys. Love being yeah. in with them, but, you know, you got to think of the safety issue of it, too, you know. Right. If that thing comes out, I mean, if this was a Cuban crocodile, I mean... Yeah, you're done. I'd be done. <laughs> it's crazy how they can just disappear like that. <laughs> so explosive. There's two in here? There's one in here and then one in oh, gotcha. here. Oh, gosh. That snap is fucking crazy. Good. You gotta take the right. That was a trigger. Man. There you go. The face is so pretty in the sunlight. It's crazy. Come on. 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 Crazy, all the like the copper coloring on our body. It's pretty awesome on our scoots. Yeah, it's so pronounced when they're little guys, but then obviously being an adult and then being outdoors, you right. can lose that patterning, patterning, but you can still really see it on the head there. Yeah, such a cool texture on them. Very cool. There you go. <laughs> Fucking awesome. And believe it or not, this one I actually thought was a male. I would have swore by it. So when I picked this one up, it was bellowing just like a male, like over and over and over again. But sure enough, it's a female. So it's almost like if there's male, if there's not a male around, she just kind of asserts herself as the dominant one and mm -hmm. pretends to be that male. But to see this one, the tub stayed down. It's pretty yeah. good. And then oh, so those cool. tubs were under the ground yeah. too. Yeah. Oh, and then fuck. a lot of times with with South Florida here. You get so much water under the ground that right. it'll actually just lift the tub Push right up, up if there's a little bit less water in the tub mm -hmm. and it'll just lift right up. It's kind of cool how it's a Siamese crocodile and this almost looks like bamboo. It's yeah, it is very cool. native to what they're, you know, what they're used to. You want to go look for her? Okay. Oops. 
Now, I just love this enclosure, especially over here, how it's just no, you know, so overgrown here, mm -hmm. and then so naturalistic. So I really don't know where she is, but she will make her presence known very, very much so. Same. Easy, easy. Because <laughs> that's the thing is what I've noticed with Cubans is keep them in the water. Right. Because if once they come out, they will just gallop all Fast. over the place. It's not like that other crocodile where they'll just rush you and then shoot back in the water. They are so comfortable on land as well as the water. And then she'll just keep coming. And man, yesterday, yesterday alone, I jumped through that gate because she was coming so fast and I didn't have a good good uh, handle on her because it's such a tight area over there. Right. But you know, such a spicy little croc, man. Isn't she? I love that though, that, ex that exploding bite is awesome. If you want, we can get back here and see if she'll come on land a little bit. Yeah. We got two poles. I think we'll be all right. Yeah. Over here. Over here. It's like little springs. Yeah. It really is, that's how Cubans are, and what's so cool is like, you can see them how twitchy they are. Are we giving up now? We'll have to do the grand finale with that salty exploding out the, back, out the water. That's like nothing to Come on. Come on out. She's just protecting her hole. Yeah. She's like, man. I'm just trying to quarantine and chill. You guys keep messing with me. Trying to give me that corona. That's the thing is all of a sudden you lose your, you let your guard down and then that's when you. They're just so opportunistic that a lot of times like when you turn your back, they know it, it's crazy how smart they are. But she's see? slowing down. Yeah, it's so cool how pretty, you know, how bright they are too. Yeah. They're so neon yellow in the water. Their world, we just live in it. I tell people all the time. <laughs> Don't lean on that fence. <laughs> the coloration. Gold. Gold crop. She's staying over there, she's being good. Oh, you interested sit down? Is the presence known? She's just popping her head up. So now, we went from one enclosure, and now it can even match with three Cuban crocodiles in here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's three. Where? Yeah. Well, we think this is a girl, right? We actually saw the medium-sized one trying to breed with the big one. So, I mean, it'd be great. Yeah. Well, yeah. We'll just. Just lift up the tail. Hey, what are you? Let's hope for a boy. You can only see. What a pretty croc, man. Aren't they? The Cuban crocodiles, how they have oh, that pretty. curved fang right there. Mm -hmm. And then the big ear crest. Very cool. Pretty croc. Yeah, those crests give them such a fierce look. Right? Very dinosaur. And a crazy reputation. You want to go in the water for us? Typical Cuban. They're crazy, bro. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can't trust them. Again, this is. This is Kill you in your sleep. I love Cuban girls, though. That little munchkin. Little guy. If you want to see if she'll come over for you. For you, little guy. Come on. Thank you. Yeah, it was just really nice. Yes, yeah, sir. No. Oh, she just wants to. She's like, yo, that's not sweet. Yeah, there you go. Come on. Let's go. There you go. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> we got one to the side of us. Oh, yeah, she's over here. Okay. okay cool. so we got all three up ahead of us. Oh, yeah, so this is a little munchkin here. Cute little guys. They are, aren't they? <laughs> There's so many Cuban crocodiles around here. So you see how she kind of cocked her legs back? They're so really active. Ready for that spring. 
There's that one. There you go. <laughs> oh, it's so cool how they pop right up. Oh, the big ones sure. stay in there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's right there. See if you can get her out. Hey, 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 hey. Come that way. Look how yellow it is. So that's how they kind of just assert their dominance. It's not biting each other. It's not, you know, super aggressive. It's just essentially hopping around and the tail wag. See that tail? That's the thing. That means wash the fuck out. And then Munchkin's now gonna probably take off this way. Yep. Come on, Munchkin. Right on top of the video. <laughs> so you see, they've all made this swamp, so there's a lot of visual barriers. So that's why it's safe to have these animals in here because otherwise if they can see each other all the time they'll be super stressed out but they all have their little nooks and crannies they can get to it's like a little moto track uh-huh it's got little it really is. it's got little dips and turns and super fun Let's see if we can get the big one out. there's the big one Look at the giant fang on her. So then, those are the two females. I think they're all females. Oh, they're all females. So how do you how do you sex them? Is there do you got an ultrasound them like other things, no. or is like is there ways you could just look at them and tell? No, not really. I mean, with the saltwater crocodiles, it's easier because the males get so big compared right. to the females. Um, there's little tiny physical attributes that kind of point one way or the other, but it's no no definitive way to tell physically, just quickly looking at them. But honestly, the only way to really do it is stick a finger in their cloaca, right. and they're big enough that you can easily just stick a finger in there and That's Kyle's pull them up right in there. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, <laughs> just get right in that cloaca, man. Probably be finger banging crocs. And if you feel something, then it's a boy. <laughs> there's nothing there, then it's a girl. So Makes sense. I, I was told all these are females, but the way he's been acting, or this one's been acting, oops, sorry, uh, may be a male, which would be awesome because what I've noticed is uh, Cubans, there's no, they don't seem to be much bigger than the females, so it's mm -hmm. not like, okay, that's a male, that's a female. So how is how would one act like a male and how would one act like a female? So this one, again, like we were talking about with that Siamese, that she was kind of asserting her, her dominance and acting like a male. So this one was actually curled up trying to breed with that one. Right. So again, that could just be a dominance thing, or maybe it is a male, in fact. So I didn't sex them because the guy was like, oh yeah, they're all females. But mm -hmm. now I'm like, uh, when we move into the new place, I definitely want to check to see if there's any males in here because males are super rare in this species. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. Here she comes. Because this one was a was a subordinate to that one and then now it's been a lot more confident around this whereas as you can see before this one if this one was looking for food this mm -hmm. one would take off but now right. this one's like oh I'll, I'll, it's fair game for me as well mm -hmm. so cool man literally like modern day dinosaurs they really are They're fucking crazy i mean these are honestly modern day velociraptors how crazy they are how how far Smart how much they, they jump between these and modern lizards, definitely have modern day velociraptors covered. Come on. Well, we're in a bad position. Let's do this. So let's see if we can get this one to at least go away. Maybe she wants to take the pipe with her. All right, hold up. That's the thing with these guys. Like I said before, they'll double jump and just keep coming. So they can travel a great deal of distance in a very quick amount of time. So, and that's the problem is you, I'll be bumping in you, you'll be bumping in Tyler, and all of a sudden the crocodile's got all three of us. Your shirt will be getting caught on the fence. <laughs> Stuck. So this one. Hey, 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 hey. See that double lunge? So, like I said, they crap. They Two step. Very quickly. Quickly. Especially off that mound. I mean, that was just like a. Yeah, he just went a whole body length. Ah. He just went a whole body length. So, the smaller ones are definitely easier to work with, but these big ones, they'll just push and push and push. Oh, yeah. But they are so beautiful. They are. Fucking awesome. Just 
keeps coming towards. That's the thing is what I've noticed is. Yeah, she's not even going towards your pole. She's going towards your arm. Yeah, and it, that's the thing is they pick up on our movement. So right. it's like they are predating us for sure. They're like, oh, if I get that, it doesn't do anything. Uh-huh. And that's what I noticed is with the other one, other large animal that I uh, did a video with, uh -huh. she wasn't picking up on the movements of the rat. She was picking up on the movements of my legs. So every mm -hmm. time I move my legs is when she would lunge at me. And you can see how her back legs right now are cocked. Right. So normally she's they're just laying there. So she's just ready to launch. Yep. Just like that. Yep. Same thing with a snake, essentially. Snake coils back. You're ready to go. Alright, well, I think we pushed our luck enough, huh, for one yeah. day. Seek the she's not galloping, but maybe even just a walk. They can travel a great deal of time. So that's the thing is with other crocs is like she'll go back in the water. A lot of crocs will go back in the water and then meet us here. Mm -hmm. But these Cuban crocs are just like, no, nah, I'll just take the wind instead. See that? Oh, she's like a half a step. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I guess we didn't really think this through, did we? <laughs> it's, it's just <laughs> so now we're uh, we blocked her exit. Now we're blocked. We can, Sick. We can get over an Whoa. overhang, right? We got in trouble. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can get her back. But that's the thing is with Cubans, they're also very sensitive. So if they know, okay, you're just messing with me like that. Mm -hmm. Tap them on the jaw. They'll just take off. They're like, all right. But if if you're just tapping them around them, right. then they're the aggressor. Then they'll just keep coming. Right. So it's just as you know with with cobras and whatnot, it's just small cues. Right. That is what keeps you safe. Exactly. If it gets too crazy, you just tap them on the jaw. They go yeah. back in, and you can reset or get out. Yeah, exactly. Body language. And that's the thing is these two were very. Uh, distant, you know, they were kind of doing the same thing before they chase each other and now look at them They're just all up on each other all the time yeah. So I mean that would be freaking awesome if that was a male Hell yeah. You never know Grand finale time yeah. can't come to Kyle's without showing you all this Saltwater croc Hopefully the female doesn't come up. Oh, and yeah, that's right. We're She's about 10 feet back. Ten feet back? Yeah She went down? Yeah. So the reason I want the female is because when he comes out, it's all about feeding. Right. And it's all about territory, protecting it. So sometimes she can get in the way and I hate for her to... Dude! Oh! Massive! The 15 foot there it is. salt water crop. See, there is nothing like it. That's fucking like such a pretty Same, dog too. He wow. likes you. That yeah. was by far the quickest I've had him out of the water. Yeah. By far. He's gnarly. Man, that's a crazy animal. And look at that giant tooth he has there. I mean, oh, his teeth are three and a half inches long. Yeah. Look at those things. <laughs> so yeah, like I was saying, she's hopefully gonna have uh, some eggs. We'll get some babies out of these guys this year, which will be great to see um, there's several zoos that are looking for saltwater crocodiles seems like this is a great uh, bloodline I mean the male is such a beautiful animal he's only he's young too he's only like 20 years old so yeah. you know it's great genetics so he could easily get 20 foot with the right diet and he'll be going over the new place so he'll be having a lot bigger enclosure oh, yeah. uh, but he is an awesome awesome animal yeah that's impressive just so explosive huh crazy Dude, imagine, imagine, imagine standing on the edge of that water and getting him to do that. And the, the smaller pond over there is maybe 15 foot by 15 foot. Damn. And he'll completely yeah. disappear, like completely. So, I mean, it goes to show, like, even just a tiny little puddle in Australia can hold these monsters. Fucking cool. Pretty dope, man. Do you guys have an estimate on weight? Say over a thousand pounds. Crazy we'll animal. find out when we move them. <laughs> yeah, right. You're gonna weigh them? Uh, yeah, it'd be cool. Like get like a, Shit, you know, like the car, the, yeah, the car uh, weight, the scale, put right. the crate on it. Yeah. Just uh, subtract the crate, yeah. and then we'll get his weight. 
That'd be, that'd be cool to know. We'll definitely need all the help we can get moving this monster. Man, that'll be a crazy day. <laughs> Holy shit. Hell yeah, man. Well, I appreciate it, Kyle. Of course. We'll be back soon to make some more stuff. This is only like... Dude, today we showed you guys maybe 10%. Yeah. yeah. Seriously. Not even kidding. Like, there's more enclosures back here. He has a whole nother property that is just like... It's a whole nother world. It's crazy. So, it's the first of many. Appreciate it, bro. Yeah, of course. We'll get you back soon. We'll feed Sick. the big giant alligator. Dude, there ain't, noth ain't nothing like this around here. Really fucking cool. Peace out, people. Be safe. Yeah.